All right, this is another little follow-up on my uh, 1956 Farm All Cub. Um, got the sheet metal back on it. <clears throat> got the exhaust back on it today. And I just threw it back together. It's pretty much serviced except for the transmission and rear end. <clears throat> it really needs a set of tires, but I'm going to go ahead and use it like it is uh, for a little while until I can get the time to uh, go ahead and completely restore it. <clears throat> but the deck works fine. Hydraulic lift's fine. Um, and again, in my other video, I said I bought this thing. I tried to get it from a neighbor of mine for ever. And then uh, the gentleman passed away and uh, his family ended up contacting me on it and uh, selling it to me. And I'm in a rental house uh, here in a neighborhood, so I really have no need for a tractor, but um, I just think they're neat looking. I've been interested in them for a while. Uh, I've got a uh, little front housing here. It's got some cracks in it, but I bought another. I don't know if you can see that where it's gold. It's been welded back together, but I've got another housing for it already. I just need to put it on. Missing a little McCormick emblem off the other side. But basically just <clears throat> replaced all the ignition on this thing. The brand new 12 volt battery in it. Uh, the fuel tanks on these things are real bad about rusting. I coated it with a product called Red Coat. Um, and it came out really nice. I was happy with it. The radiator neck was broken off. Carb got rebuilt. Oil bath air cleaner got redone. New plugs, wire, cap, rotor. Um, Petronics distributor. Um, all the video I kind of talked about how I fixed the fuel line fitting and I've got a second shutoff valve and I know a lot of people purists don't really like that but it works and I make sure I get plenty of clean fuel but I don't know if you can see my original glass bowl sediment bowl filter is under there um, cleaned it all the way down put a gasket in it kind of bent the bail ends a little bit to tighten them up and uh, can't really see it, it's kind of hidden in there, but it's it's leak free as well. And uh, I mean, the thing just, it just fires right up. And it'll sit there and run. The motor's not hot. I walk up and put my hand on it. That's a, that's a golf manifold, it's, it's cold. No choke, no nothing. It, it'll just sit there and run all day long. So, um, a little fun project, and at some point it'll get a complete restoration, new tires and all that good stuff. But for now, it's running right along.